morning. It is going to be a scorcher. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move. I don't do heat well. Just not one of those people that does it well. Not always called for, to be honest. And we have a show today. We have a show at lunchtime. Um, yeah. It's beautiful weather. If I could just sit there and do sod or haylage barn as having a clear out. Um, I'll have to go and get Coop in because I turned him out early so that he could have a couple of hours out in the field. Just to have a good old leg stretch, get some grass in his belly. I stupidly didn't turn Artie out in the lighter flight rug um not that his sweetish rug is that thick but he's a hot horse so he will be feeling it but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to get near him or not he tends once he's out i'm not even sure i'll get near coop actually coop's not always one for coming in early i say he's only been out there about two hours so i think he's gonna quite possibly turn around at me and tell me to sod off um so we'll try and get artie's well it's not sweetish this is a flight rug on first and then see if I can catch Coop and bring him in and you can have an hour or so in get him platted before we leave uh yeah so off doing him in I'm feeling a smidge nervous god knows why I mean not that it's not important it's always it, I'm a competitive person so going to shows is always important to me but you know with corporal there's just no pressure whatsoever this is just fun like you know however many more shows he does well dropping the fly rug this is just fun <laughs> oh yeah you yeah i still don't feel like that i still get a bit nervous but i'm not too bad i just sort of woke up this morning and thought oh really got to be a bit nervous um there's quite a few in the class today as well i think there was like 23 which is quite a lot so uh yeah anyway i'm gonna get coop in like i say get him platted everything should be ready i think i've got about an hour I didn't want to get him in too early because obviously if I plait him and then put him back in the stable, he'll just rub his plaits out. What little plaits they are. And I don't know how you guys find it, but if I've got less mane, it's harder to plait and takes me longer. And um, he's been rubbing his mane out. So actually last night he was very much changed, changed from the chest and the neck to the bottom. He was, I can't imagine what his tail looks like. There isn't much hair. Hello, Bills. There's not much hair. By the way, that was a brand new clean rug on yesterday, Bills, wasn't it? And then you slept in it last night. And look at yourself now. Uh, yeah, so I'm imagining Coop's tail is probably going to be a bog brush. But somehow I kind of don't mind him doing the tail because he's always done that. He, he probably has low-grade sweet itch as well. And of course it gets worse as they get older. Um, everything has got worse on Coop as he's got older. Anyway, let's hope that there's a nice breeze where we're going. And I'm not going to boil my brains out. And that I'm going to keep Coop's warm up really gentle actually today, just probably warm him up and not just not overcook him, not in this weather. So he'll probably appreciate that as well because you know, the less I do, the better in his mind. Surprisingly successful. Um, I think this is like the best, it's all in my sweet itch and fly rug reviews, but this is like the toughest fly rug you can get. I don't think the horse flies would get through that. But obviously it's cool-ish. God, I'm out of breath, aren't I, Coop? Coop, actually, I don't think Coop realised he was about to get caught to come in. He kind of thought, oh, Artie just had a rug change. So um, you're going to have to go back, I'm afraid. Come on. You've got bills. Don't need two hands. Nearly there, just putting some Lucas Aid in. I actually just realised I need to open the lorry up as well. Um, yeah, he's, oh, he's not very happy about being in on his own. I think a bit of a shrub. Uh, I've pretty much got everything ready he just needs his stuff put on um, and yeah it is warm though it's really toasty he gets he just, he's a bit he just doesn't do good in heat so he's being a bit stroppy um, anyway excuse the noise of the lorry I wanted to get the fan on um, he's going in a rug even though it's warm but it's, it's super lightweight and I don't want him being bitten He's got the fan running. I've opened up the windows up there. Managed to get the window open up there. So hopefully once we get going, he should have loads of airflow.
just, oh my God, oh, someone sounds like they're breaking the stable. I know, I promise I'm going to come and lunge That's you, I can hear you doing it. Oh, Artie's trying to remove the back wall. Hmm. The problems of having a horse with sweet itch. Father zoomed in there. I um, I haven't put his other sweet itch rug on. This is not a sweet itch rug. Why do I find it so hard to know the difference between a fly rug and a sweet itch rug? I didn't put his sweet itch rug back on because he was hot. But I have a feeling you've been taking advantage of that and having a really, really hefty scratch, haven't you? Yes, I could hear you. You were taking the back stable wall out. Yes, you were. I could hear you. I've come out to run Billy because don't look at my yard. It's very messy. Um, because it was just too hot earlier and I'd run out of steam a little bit. So I'm going to go and give Bills a lunge over some poles. Would you stop trying to escape, please? Um, but I thought I would come and talk about how Coop got on today. Sorry, all the fans are on, so it's really noisy. Um, he was good, bless him. The poor old bean really did suffer with the heat, as I predicted. Um, he found it so tricky. He was just really flat and really unmotivated to be there to be honest um and so it made it not hard work but i just was very conscious i don't really want to witch your bum i imagine you've been giving it a good going over haven't you no. so the problem with having a horse with sweet itch and a horse with allergies coop i'm not gonna do it for you right i'm just gonna move away from him because he's just gonna rub um yeah he was really sort of just struggling his breathing was up a little bit as well so all in all, he felt like he didn't really want to be there. So I did very little warm up, um, just made sure he was literally warmed up and that was it. And just let him, you know, make sure he had his breath and everything. In the first test, he he won, which was incredible. Wasn't expecting that. He had a 69% and it was an okay test. I practiced trying to move him forward. I'm, don't look at my hey, literally on It's in the process of being there. Yes, stop scratching your bottom, please. Um, yeah, in the first test he had 69% and it was okay. I was working on trying to get him uh, a bit more impulsion, which is hard when it's hot and he's not wanting that. He's just going to rub again. And the judge noticed that he, and said that he was a little bit hurried, which was kind of good to know. It was That's the whole point. I wanted to just see what the judges thought. And that judge noticed straight away that he looked like he was a little bit hurried. So we know that that's not going to work riding him a little bit more forward so that was a good practice thing to do at this show and then in the next test i thought he went a little bit better he was i kept him up together a little bit more and a few niggly mistakes like silly things like when he halted he just swung his quarters out a little bit and actually he was impatient in the actual like four second halt right by the judge he did a bit of a fidget like he moved one leg he was actually dead square and then he moved a leg and then he moved another leg and I was thinking, would you just stand still? Um, <clears throat> sorry, gone croaky. Uh, yeah, so that was a bit annoying. He's he's obsessed with rain back at the moment. So he, even though I've not been practicing it, he thinks, hey Eve, he thinks he should do it. So oh, he's looking out there now. He's probably looking for sheep. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a pain, but you know, never mind. So the, he came out with 69% in that test too, which again was not bad. You know, when he is feeling great and he is firing on all cylinders, yes, I would have liked something a little bit higher, like probably would have rather have 72% <laughs> if I could. That's what I'm sort of aiming for. But being that he was really struggling with the heat, I'm really happy with 69%. And bless him, he was quite the trooper, being that he was really not enjoying it. So that means that I've got qualified. Um, that was dropping him back down to novice today. Oh my goodness, can you hear him? Um, that was dropping him back down to novice today. So he has qualified for the novice gold regionals in one outing, which is great. One of the benefits of the fact that it's half points and whatever. I'm coming. Um, so that was good. So we did what we needed to do. Yes, I know. You're just always so angry and so hung. Watch the teeth. Such a little so-and-so, isn't he? Don't know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do that. Yeah. So we got what was needed today. Um, and yeah, I just kind of don't know how to help him with the heat and everything. I feel really guilty that, you know, he's 20 and I'm like, please work, please come to a show. Um, yeah, I just felt really bad for him. So I don't quite know how we're going to help him with that. <sighs> who knows? Who knows? Because, you know, summer regionals could well be an absolute heat wave again. Um, and we're doing, hopefully, Spa Shot and Mount Ballon. So both in the midst of summer. So I don't quite know how we're going to get around that. But either way, I was very happy. Oh, I should say in the second test, he was 
third in his section. So that was good. And it was the other... He was in the gold section. And the other two people in the gold sections were super beautiful horses. So I wouldn't have expected him to be able to beat those because they were stunning. I would love to have taken them home. Um... I'm not ungrateful, Coop. <laughs> but yeah, they were beautiful, so I knew he wouldn't be able to compete against them. But um, still, it was a big class. There was a 20-odd in there. So to finish up where he did was good. We will take it, especially as he wasn't feeling on tip-top condition. So also, with his allergies, that also takes a bit out of him as well. So all in all, bless him, he was a trooper. <laughs>